Oh, quite a few people want to talk with me. Okay. So let's head to the street cook. Perfect work, Hunter. You captured a Gendrome, so now I can upgrade the kitchen ingredients. Ah, I forgot to say, I heard the chief solve the mystery of Hearth's lava problem. You already talked to him? I, I see. Okay. So we solve the mystery. What have you got to say for yourself? I bet you think I'm a miner. Since I'm Treverian, I must schlep rocks around all the time. Is that it? Huh? Is it? Wrong, you big lug. I'm a jug. I only keep this... I only do this to keep my muscles in shape for my real job. Egg delivery. Oh. Are you part of the egg mafia? That's right. I got the lowdown from our boyo in Valhabar. I hear you've got a bright future. The question is, can those wonder arms of yours handle an herbivore egg? Hmm? Of course, I'll make it worth your while. Deliver on this, and I'll talk to the Don to see if he'll make you a capo. You ain't gonna pass up a chance at management, are ya? Are ya? Huh? Now go talk to the guild and sign up for extraction herbivores. And don't tell nobody. Nobody! I'm trying to be incognito here. We got our next egg quest, so I know, I know what we're doing next. Alright, Chief, what have you got for us? Hunter, Hunter, guess what? I managed to pinpoint what's keeping the lava from flowing. I chased the hardened lava all the way upstream, and you'll never believe what was hiding back there. A monster called the Nurskilla has built a snug little nest right where the lava comes out. I noticed a huge boulder in front of the lava spout and just pulled out my pickaxe when I felt this cold stare. And there it was, a big, all an ugly Nurskilla with nasty pincers, the big lugoma jug. Blah, it was hideous. I could feel it staring me down as if to say, no touchy, my bouldery. Ahem. Anyway, I... <coughs> I hightailed it out of there as fast as my Trovarian legs would take me. Do Hearth a favor, Hunter. Whack that Nurskilla and restart hunt Hearth to its usual vim and vigor. I'm begging ya. Take it out, we can get the lava flowing right back here to the village. Then you get your ship. Alright, we've got a Nurskilla to take down. By the way, Hunter, I've been thinking, and in my mind, you deserve a little thank you gift. How do you like to be able to gather all you want in the Sunken Hollow? You'd love it, right? Well, I filed a quest with the Green Mist called Harvest Tour Sunken Hollow. Now you dash around the Sunken Hollow and gather until those beefy arms fall right off. Great. I, I always love Harvest Tours. And we got a Mega Pickaxe. Awesome. Thank you. I know all about it, Doodle. The culprit behind the lava stoppage is none other than a monster. The grim and yet strangely groovy Nurskilla. It uses status afflictions of all kinds to corner its prey. Take it down and Hearth will get its lava flow back, which means we can get our ship. While you're at it, Doodle, I'd also like to ask a tiny favor. Very tiny. Microscopic, really. I can wait until you get back, but could you reenact how the Nurskilla uses its pincers? Science wants to know. You know, just flail your arms around so I got the picture. <laughs> I'll have my notebook ready to sketch it. Are those daggers I see in your eyes? What's the matter? Oh, I know, you want credit. Don't worry, I'll put your name below the sketch. Happy urgent questing, Doodle. So yeah, this... The Guild Marm, she's a bit of a monster nut. Which I can understand, I really like the monsters myself. Although, as you see, as we'll get to later in the game, you'll see that her love of monsters goes a little bit too far, if you catch my drift. Yeah, it's not fun at all. Okay, uh, pack three antidotes. And we'll go on that egg quest. How about that? Alright, so we've got our Nurskilla Thrilla going. Uh, but we're not going to do that right away. We are going to do this quest over yonder. We're going to do the Extraction Herbivores quest. Deliver two herbivore eggs. And the subquest is to slay four Anoplos. So you've got... So you're the famous egg courier, eh? How about I deliver some herbivore eggs? I'll make you a head of a whole syndicate branch. And we'll get cracking, or the boss's men will scramble your yoke. Okay, we've got some eggs to deliver at the behest of the Egg Mafia. So we want stamina. We want all the stamina we can get. Excellent. Feline Super Cat slows stamina depletion from dashing and prevents knockbacks when transporting an item. 
So this might help us resist a few of those pesky Renoplos if they try to charge us in the middle of us delivering their eggs. Uh, uh, we don't... I don't even know why I grabbed those antidotes, really. <laughs> We're not gonna fight Nerskilla right away. Extraction herbivores. So this is a step up from the Gargua Eggs quest. On the face of it, it's a fair bit simpler. You don't have to attack the herbivores to make them drop an egg like the Gargua. But at the same time, uh, you, all you have to do is gather from an egg gathering spot. That's all. But on the... There's also a downside to this, and that is the fact we're in the Sunken Hollow. That means big cliffs to carry those eggs up, and that's not going to be fun. But this quest is fine. It's, it's pretty easy. Especially in comparison to other egg quests. Oh dang it, those are Soldier Alteroth. Alright, we're going to have to go down to Area 8, and there we will find our eggs. See? The Renoplos over there, just gathered around their nest, protecting it like good herbivores. Come on, Renopolis, just die, please. Thank you. Then we take the ration. Grab the egg. And get out of here. You can't dash up walls either when you're carrying an egg. And that really sucks. At least I don't think you can, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to drop this egg. Oh, dang it, Melinx. Run, 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 run. Yeah, my stamina is going down really slowly, so... Yeah. Feline Super Cat. I'll make sure to look out for that skill in the future. Of course, there's an armor set I'm planning on making for a later quest. Oh, dang. They were replaced with Kunchu, of course. Get out of here, Kunchu. Anyway, there's an armor set I'm planning on making eventually called the Locklack Armor Set. It gives heat resistance, which means you won't need cool drinks in hot areas. And it also gives Pro Transporter, meaning that you'll be able to carry items a lot easier. Such as eggs, for example. Uh, I'm also going to make the Locklack armor set just because I think it looks good. I mean, I really like the look of the Locklack armor set. Don't you dare, you stupid Benahabra. Okay. Stupid Renopolis. But yeah, Locklack armor set. I think it's one of my favorite in terms of design. It doesn't... It's not like all epic or awesome looking. It's not very... Nothing really notable about it. I just really like the way it's designed. I mean, the Locklack armor set has been here since Monster Hunter Tri. That's when Locklack City was introduced. And it was a big desert city, so the locals had all these thick cloths um, wrapped around them to prevent themselves, to protect themselves from the heat and the sand. And I just really like that armor set. I mean, it looks cool. It's not only useful for egg quests, I just make it because of the style. It's a really cool looking armor set. So yeah, I'm eventually going to make it, and in future quests, because there are quite a few more egg deliveries I have to do, uh, I'm definitely going to be showing it off. Subquest complete. That's four Anopolos. Stupid Kunchus. Here, I'll show you something funny you can do with a Kunchu. Watch. Watch this. Look at him. 
you can kick them and send them rolling. It's like some twisted game of soccer. <laughs> uh, I just got a kick out of doing that. Okay, okay. Um, I'm fully aware that was a bad pun, but trust me, I didn't mean to make that pun. Remember the last bad pun I made? That was on an egg quest? I think it was like... It was the Wyvern Eggs quest in Monster Hunter Try. Or 3 Ultimate. And... Uh, I had got... I think I would gotten two eggs broken by Jaggy. And then I made a comment saying this quest isn't going to be over easy. I still think that was the best pun I've ever made in this game in a playthrough because it was completely unintended it wasn't intentional and just for that I think that was the single best pun I've ever made in a Monster Hunter game hey Kuchu I'm happy to see you too but don't break this egg Kunchu, they're misunderstood. I mean, they're very polite monsters. I mean, they wave to you when you enter the area. They're, they're happy to see you. They just want to give you a hug. But then they end up breaking your eggs and tossing you off cliffs and whatnot. And you end up getting annoyed at them. But it's not intended. They don't mean to be so annoying. Don't you dare. Yeah, get the cat instead. Just don't break this egg. Okay, I think we're pretty much in the clear. So yeah, that wasn't a bad egg quest. The cat just popped out of the wall. That's... I thought Gypseros running up walls was physics defying. And that's the second of two herbivore eggs. Completed the egg delivery. Pretty dang big pit there. All right. That was easy. And we get a steel egg. And I think you need those to make the lock lock armor set, actually. So that's pretty convenient. Alright, that wasn't bad at all. So, now we have those two primal forest quests. We have the Basarios quest. And we have Nerskilla. Should I go for Nerskilla? Let me just check my recording time real quick. Oh yeah, definitely. We have t we have enough time for Nerskilla. Okay, where are you? There you are. Psst. Yeah, you. I hear you delivered the thing. You know, the egg? The herbivore egg. I wish I knew what the opposite of Butterfingers was, because because that is what you are. The Don was mighty impressed when I told him how you did. He said he wants to see ya. More importantly, he made you into a capo. You're a cheese now. Not the big cheese, but like a medium kind of cheese. Anyway, you've got more cheese content than I do, bub. Way to show me up. But I digress. This calls for a song. Hey, wait, where are you going? We haven't sung the Syndicate Anthem yet. Don't worry, we eventually get to hear the Syndicate Anthem. We eventually get to hear it. I guarantee that. Okay, it's time for Nurskilla. The Nurskilla Thrilla. We have to hunt Nerskilla and break his poison spikes. Fun. We can do that by mounting him, I believe. Or mounting her. In my opinion, Nerskilla is one of those monsters that just looks like a girl. That's just the way I've always seen it. That Nerskilla strutting around the sunken hollow, waving its pincers. Pa! 
Teach it humility and save the village in the process. Careful it doesn't ruin your day with abnormal statuses. Okay, we're off to hunt the Nerskilla. Obviously, it's named after that monster from Greek mythology. And, you know what? Voucher. There we go. Let's go for Jumbo Bread. And Queen Shrimp. Okay, let's go for... Oh, do we want Feline Weakener or Defender High? Let's go for Defender. That might make uh, Nurskilla a tiny bit more of a challenge. And I could upgrade my Charge Blade, but come on, what's the fun in that? You want to see a challenge, don't you, don't you viewers? You want to see me struggle at this, and we have I have over 30 minutes of recording time, so this shouldn't be too bad. 